I'm terribly sorry to hold you up, Mr. Sutherland. I know you're anxious to get out of the course. All right, give me a chance to get my swing into the groove. Besides, when your wife phoned, didn't she say the papers were on the way? Well, yes, sir. They should be here any minute. Oh, I don't know what's happened to my game. Lately, I've developed quite a slice. Well, if you don't mind the suggestion... No suggestions. I take my golf lessons from the pro. Mr. B! Hey, Mr. B! Here's the papers! Oh, oh Hazel! Thank you! Ah. Thank you. Mrs. Sutherland, this is Hazel. She works for me. Oh, not in his office. I'm a domestic engineer. How do you do? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Very fine. I hear you're coming to the house for dinner. He looks as if he could stand a little home cooking. Goodbye, Hazel. Thank you very much. Oh, Thank you. Right. Hey, your grip's all wrong. I beg your pardon. Hazel, please. You'll slice every time using that grip. Why don't you try my grip? You see, you take this little pinky and this little pinky, and you put this little pinky right here, and this little pinky right there, and there you are. So would you please give Mr. Sutherland back his club? Oh, sure. Nice meeting you, Mr. Sutherland. Thank you. Don't forget that grip. This little pinky and this little pinky works every time. Thank you, Hazel. Goodbye. <laughs> if there's one thing I don't need, it's an amateur to tell me my grip is wrong. You'll forgive her when you taste her chocolate souffle. It's chocolate souffle. I gotta go to Robinson for the meat. It may cost a little more, but you get less fat and not so much thumb. What's this, Hazel? Uh-oh. What's the matter? We've been carrying your dad's legal papers around all this time. He's going to be mad. Oh, no. People don't get mad, Harold. Dogs get mad. They growl and froth at the mouth. And... You're right. <laughs> we better get word to your dad. Tell him we're on the way. Tell him we're on the way. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry to hold you up, Mr. Sutherland. I know you're anxious to get out of the course. All right, give me a chance to get my swing into the groove. Besides, when your wife phoned, didn't she say the papers were on the way? Well, yes, sir. They should be here any minute. Oh, I don't know what's happened to my game. It'll cost you more to fight it than to settle. That sets a bad precedent. All right, Mr. Sutherland, you're the doctor. Would I expect you for dinner at 8? Right. And I'm looking forward to that souffle. Goodbye, Baxter. Bye, Mr. Sutherland. Now, how did she say that went? This little pinky and that little pinky. <laughs> hey, that felt pretty good. <laughs> Legal for right on the first whip? No, Harold, I gotta get home in a hurry to have everything perfect for Mr. Sutherland's dinner. Hey, there's a ticket on the windshield. Oh, no, that ain't a ticket, Harold. That's some kind of an ad. We was only in there about 10 or 15 minutes. For Pete's sake, it is a ticket. The red flag's up. So's my dander. I'm going to fight this all the way up to the Supreme Court. <laughs> I've been driving for 27 years, and this is the first time I ever got a parking ticket. If I was guilty, I would judge as sure as I'm standing here. I wasn't in that meat market more than... Hold your horses! My mouth is fairly watering for that chocolate souffle. I was telling George earlier, the last good souffle I had was in Paris two years ago. Two years is a long time to wait. I hope it won't be much longer. Well, waiting for the good things in life only makes them the more enjoyable. Well, here we are. Here's your coffee. Cake and ice cream coming up. Cake and ice cream? I don't know what happened to the souffle, but her cakes are delicious. Well, I'm sure they are, but I never eat dessert unless it's something special, like... like chocolate souffle. Uh, well, would you care for some brandy in your coffee? Yes, thank you. Really, excuse me, I'll get some. I've waited two whole years. For the souffle, I mean. <laughs> Hazel, this morning at breakfast, I distinctly told you to have chocolate souffle. And I said I would if I could. And I couldn't. Look. You can't say I didn't try. But it's like I told you, Mr. B. You gotta be in the right mood to make a souffle. You gotta treat those egg whites like they was prima donnas. You gotta <laughs> tease them and coax them and handle them with TLC. 